What is up guys and welcome to a new video from Cordoba, Spain. It is just about 8 a.m. right before sunrise and today I'm going to show you how to spend one day in Cordoba. So to start off the day we are going to get a very special local breakfast. So let's go. So for breakfast I got what's called a pastel cordobes which translates to cordoba cake or pie and it looks whoop, something like that um, basically like a slice of pie and on the inside the filling is supposed to be squash or pumpkin so I'm really curious how this is gonna taste but it's the local dessert treat pastry here so thought I'd give it a shot really gooey it's actually really good it tastes like kind of like a cross between pumpkin and apple breakfast is done it was delicious if you come to Cordoba you have to try the local Cordoba cake and for the local Cordoba cake and the coffee it costs three euros and 35 cents so pretty affordable as well now it is time to head to the main reason so many people come here to Cordoba to visit the Mesquita Catedral also known as the Mesquita so I've made it inside the area of the Mesquita Catedral or the Mosque Cathedral which is known to be the most important monument in the Western Islamic world and this monument is both a mosque and a cathedral. <laughs> Crazy right? So there are a couple different stories as to how this monument became both a mosque and a cathedral but the most common one I've heard is that there was a church originally built here and then when the region became a Muslim controlled region they built a great mosque. However years later Christian forces took over and they built a cathedral inside the mosque but retained a lot of its original attributes. So inside you can see attributes from both a mosque and a cathedral super super unique and a really interesting concept so let's go check it out one of the most unique religious monuments I've ever been to. Right behind me you have all of these beautiful red and white arches from the mosque and then in the middle of the structure you have this huge cathedral which is beautiful. And then all around the structure you have these little chapels and Catholic and Christian relics so it's a really really unique place Wow the Mesquita Cordoba was so incredible it was so beautiful just to see two distinct religions under the same structure if you come to Cordoba, you have to come to the Mesquita and you'll want to reserve your tickets in advance as they fill up fast unless, like me, you don't mind waking up a little early because every day, I believe except Sunday from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., you can get into the Mesquita for free and you'll probably have fewer crowds. Right next to the Mesquita Catedral, within the same complex, you have the Bell Tower, which is right behind me. And unfortunately, it's closed right now under construction, but you can pay two euro to check it out, climb to the top, and there's supposed to be some really nice views, but you'll have to check it out for yourself. Right next to the Mesquita Catedral here in Cordoba is a beautiful little narrow street called the Calle de las Flores which translates to the Street of Flowers and that's just one of the many beautiful streets right around this area. So at the end 
end of the little street of flowers, you are brought to this tiny little plaza here. And then in the background, if you guys can see, there's a beautiful view of that bell tower. So we're really close to the Mesquita, but now it's time to continue on and continue exploring the beautiful city of Cordoba. So I've walked just a few minutes away from the area of the Mesquita Cordoba to a place here called Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos which translates to the Palace of Christian Kings. This palace or fortress dates back to the 13th and 14th centuries and was built after the Christians conquered the city of Cordoba. It's supposed to be a beautiful area with tons of really nice gardens and architecture so let's go check it out. Over the years, this palace has served many different purposes. Of course, one being a royal palace where the king and their families used to live, but it has also served as a prison and a military installation before being handed over to the city of Cordoba. Inside the palace, you have a few different towers which served oftentimes as a military lookout point but you also have some absolutely gorgeous gardens and patios. So let me show you guys around and experience the tranquility of the Palace of the Christian Kings. The grounds here inside the palace are so beautiful. They are really well kept and it's actually surprised me a lot. I didn't think I would like this palace as much as I do. It doesn't feel overly crowded and there's tons of space to walk around. It's a really, really nice area here in Cordoba to just sit back, relax, and enjoy some beauty and a bit of history. That was so awesome. It was so much nicer than I thought. We are off to a great start here in Cordoba, Spain. So we're gonna continue on exploring the city, but the Palace of Christian Kings must visit. Get your tickets in advance too. Earlier today, we saw both a mosque and a cathedral, but did you know that until they were forced out of the city, there were actually a lot of Jews living here in Cordoba, Spain. Today, there aren't many Jews left living in the city, but there's still a Jewish quarter known as La Juderia, which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful areas of the city. The Jewish Quarter is a labyrinth of narrow cobblestone streets and white buildings and there's still a synagogue here in the Jewish Quarter that you can check out so we're gonna go do that now. here in Cordoba is the only synagogue left in Andalusia and one of three synagogues in all of Spain. You can't practice in the synagogue but it's still really cool just to be in that environment and to see a synagogue, a cathedral, and a mosque all in one city. After walking around the old city of Cordoba, it's time to do one of my favorite things in the city and something you have to do on your one day in Cordoba, which is to explore the beautiful gardens, parks, patios, and plazas of the city. Some of my favorite spots in the city are the Gardens of Victoria and the Agricultural Gardens, which is a long pedestrian walkway lined with palm trees, beautiful flowers, monuments, and gardens. And then you have Plaza de las Tendias or Tendias Plaza, which is a main square here in Cordoba, Spain, surrounded by tons of shops, cafes, and restaurants. A great place to sit back and relax. Plaza de la Corredera is another beautiful plaza here in Cordoba, Spain. It's a big, beautiful plaza with tons of red arches and some cafes to relax at and enjoy a bite to eat. And then 
you have Palacio de Viana, which is supposed to be the most beautiful garden and patio area here in Cordoba. There are actually 12 different unique patios and gardens within this one complex, and there is so much beauty and tranquility here. I believe it usually costs five euros to enter, but for some reason right now it's free, so maybe you'll get lucky as well. have the courtyard of the well, courtyard of the gardens, courtyard of the chapel, courtyard of the archive, and many more beautiful courtyards. Palacio de Viana was beautiful. I'd highly recommend a visit on your one day in Cordoba. It is 6.30 right now and I am on my way to get some food for dinner, which is really early by Spain standards. A lot of proper restaurants actually don't open until 8 p.m. here in Cordoba, but I want to take you guys somewhere special for sunset, so we're going to grab an early dinner. So I have my dinner here, which is called Rabo de Toro, which translates to bull tail. And it is a special local dish here in Cordoba. So I am going to give it a shot. I've never had bull before, let alone the tail. So let's see how it tastes. It looks like this. It's very tender. Really, really tender, kind of like a brisket tender. Pretty good and has this sauce that, it's not barbecue-y, it's not sour, spicy. Hard to explain, but it's pretty good. Rabo de Toro. Dinner is done and it was actually pretty tasty. I wasn't sure what bull tail would be like, but would recommend. However, it did take a lot longer than anticipated to have dinner. So the sun has already set, but it's still light out, so I'm gonna take you guys to the last stop here in Cordoba, Spain, right now. I am now walking along the Romano Bridge, or Puente Romano, which is one of the most iconic structures in Cordoba. That wraps up our day here in Cordoba, Spain. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below because I have some great vlogs coming up over the next few weeks. And I'll see you guys next week. Hasta luego.